Okay, hello everybody. I just wanted to show you really quickly what I was working on today. Um, it's basically just math, but um, what I did was I took the um, particle system that I had with the red and blue stuff, and that was just they were there was just a center line that they were colliding with and bouncing off of. I don't know if I even showed you that, but anyways, change that all up. <laughs> so, <clears throat> so I've got these new variables. I got a number of vertices. Okay. I've got the vertices right here, the vertices data, which contains two floats for the position and three for the color. So zero, one is the position. Two, three, and four would be the color, RGB. The speed is a float. The radius change, which is the, the amount that it's moving toward or away from the center of this spiral that I'm making. Each particle's angle of rotation around the center is a variable and each particle's radius from the center. And you, that's, the, so the speed and the radius are used in calculating, um, or no, the angle and the radius are used in calculating the position. So anyways, so within our init function here, what we do is we come down here to this handy dandy little function or a uh, block of code <clears throat> where the angle's equal to a random number between um, zero and 6.28 and there are uh, 628 possibilities so and then the radius starts at 0.75 and it goes up by one uh, from 0 to 100 divided by 400 which is 0 to 0.25 and then you can see it's calculating the x and the y here using the sine and cosine respectively just the angle times the radius the speed is equal to the random 50 divided by 10 so it's 0 to 5 plus 2 so it's 2 to 7 times uh, the speed adjustment and then radius change is the same thing 50 just 0 to 5 times the speed adjustment and then you got your random at the moment I've got it set for a random red tint okay so there's the initialization and then as we go through the the actual programming that does all the all the code <clears throat> for displaying the points on the screen does not change but the update buffer does or the update function it doesn't have to be called update buffer but so here's another loop look familiar number of vertices okay we update the angle based on speed if it goes beyond 628 we just subtract 628 so it's still going radius minus radius change if it gets to zero we reset the particle and recalculate position just ta just times the sine times the radius or the angle times the radius sine of the angle times radius blah 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 okay all right um, I'm gonna go ahead and run it and show you it's just the particles will just gravitate towards the center of the uh, screen in this case the center of the screen and there we go pretty cool stuff all right well, that's short and sweet and quick to the point, so thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment below.